Welcome back to my channel and to my first video for 2022. Happy New Year. This is a really quick update video to uh, let you know about a few small improvements I've made to the DIY BMS. Just before Christmas, I received a message for help with a very large battery bank install. Uh, there were 84 DIY BMS modules running and the controller often ran into issues with communicating with the very, very last few modules, normally the last four or five. Um, there are various, various reasons behind this, but I believe they're now all fixed and the new controller co code is uh, on GitHub available for uh, download now. This release is likely to improve communication speed and general responsiveness of the system to all users. So it's definitely worth upgrading, uh, especially if you have a very large battery bank ins installation. Uh, since my last video on the DIY BMS project, I've been working on improving the controller code and attempting to migrate to the native ESP IDF libraries rather than the uh, Arduino ones I've been using so far. I'm trying to reduce the complexity of the code and also the number of dependent libraries, which ultimately should, should speed up the system. This has all been happening in the background, so there's no changes that are visible to you at the moment. However, if you fancy helping out, there is a branch on GitHub where you can test or uh, review the code for me. My next video is going to be something a little different. Um, unfortunately, a few weeks before Christmas, my oldest aunt passed away. Uh, she'd led a good life, as they say. Uh, while reminiscing with my parents over the festive period, I was reminded of some su old uh, Super 8 uh, camera film, which I remember watching as a child. Uh, these films are now over 50 years old, and I'm worried that they may degrade, and uh, being stored in a shoebox won't help either. Um, you can't have too many ongoing projects in your life, so I thought I'd start a new one, and attempt to look at how I can archive this old Super 8 camera footage. Don't worry though, DIY BMS still continues to tick away in the background, and uh, I'll be back on the videos with that soon. Thanks for watching.